decorate the kitchen um in the mix of me going to Cairo football game and he has a belt testing for his martial arts so I don't know how I'm going to squeeze all this in today but we're going to do it today is Saturday um I have this scarf on my head mainly because y'all know my braids these twists need to come out but I don't want to take them out yet because I'm so busy that I don't even have time to like sit and take them out so I put some loose and I'm like trying to tie it down so that way by the time I go to this game my hair won't be looking crazy so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gather everything that I need for the kitchen and the breakfast area also this little credenza area um I decided to just let me just switch the camera over here I decided to just keep this area the same all I'm doing is switching out or swapping out the florals and I'm moving the moss and adding some acorns over there on this section i'm going to do the same thing move the greenery and just add acorns and then i kind of gave you guys a little sneak peek of what i'm going to do to the island on one of the vlogs so i'm going to do the same thing and i'm just stuck over here y'all i don't know what i want to do in this section i gotta i need to soak these apples real quick um, clean them but I'm not sure what I want to do over here so remember I told you guys I was going to use the small vase well I already used the small vase in the dining room so now I'm like you know what I can just keep this here and add something I don't know what I'm going to add but I'm going to add something so I'm going to go ahead and gather my items and then show you guys everything and then, oh, and I got a new candle for over here. Let me just show you guys the new candle real quick. So this is my new candle I decided to put over here. It smells amazing. It is blood orange and pomegranate. Oh my goodness. So I will be switching the candle that's over there for this. It smells amazing. I'm telling you, it's from Target. Of course, the camera don't want to focus. Mm, it smells so good. But yeah, this is what we're going to switch that candle out to. And yeah, so let's go gather up all our stuff. All right, before we actually start decorating, I got to get all Cairo football stuff together. He has to be there an hour early. So he's in the shower now. Um, but yeah, I need to do that. If you kids are in football, do you guys have the shirts that have pads in it? They have shirts that have built in pads. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys. So I took the acrylic off my nails because my nails look horrible, y'all. And I'm a type of person, I don't mind wearing weave or extensions or acrylic. 
I don't wear fake nails, but I do put acrylic on my real nails. But I am a type of person that I like to take care of my natural, the natural state um, of my nails and my hair. So looking, looking at these nails and see how messed up they are, I'm like, oh no, I need to take a break. So I think I'm gonna take a break from acrylic. Let me know if you guys do your own nails as far as gel. What type of UV light do you guys use? Let me know, send me the link, because I'm thinking about while I'm taking a break from acrylic, I'm gonna just do my own gel on my nails. Cause I can't walk around like this, y'all, I just can't. I cannot. But I want to say thank you guys so much. You guys gave me so much um, feedback on like how to balance. A lot of you DM me on how to balance life as a football mom. So a lot of you told me, even though you, some of you guys said I can leave him and go to the gym, but the gym is not close to where the field is. So I don't feel comfortable leaving my son at the field. But someone did suggest I can walk around the field the whole time Kyra's at practice i can walk around for two hours so that is definitely good so what i think i'm going to do is friday saturday sunday and monday i can actually go to the gym tuesday wednesday thursday i'll walk so that's what i'll do i'm just you know it just took me a minute to like really figure out how i'm balancing everything but i feel better because now i can do that i can walk and do everything I need to do. All right, so I got all his football stuff. I don't know where his cleats is, but. Oh, Kyra, where's your football pants? I don't know where his football pants is, but let me show you guys his, his gear for martial arts. So this is his sparring gear. So he wears this, I gotta clean all this inside but this is his like sparring gear and then he had to wear this like to protect his you know you know what and then he had to wear these so <laughs> I got a lot to do today guys I got a lot to do but I enjoy every moment of it I really do it's a lot but I enjoy it There's one thing about me I ain't raising no lazy ass son I can't have no lazy son I just can't like a bum, don't wanna sit home, don't wanna work, wanna play the game all day, I can't, absolutely not. So it starts, it starts now, it starts when he's young. But um, all right, I'm gonna gather this stuff together. I got everything Cairo needs, so. Target last year. So cute. So this is um the new jug that I had got Cairo because <clears throat> baby I practiced for two hours and the game is two hours and the other one was uh, just enough for worse. So. 
Can y'all please stop? Kyra, go get ready for football. Because now you're about to be late. Go. Go ahead. Kyra. Go get ready for football. Come on. Mahaya, stop screaming. Them two. Them two. So I'm about to go to Cairo football game. So this is the shirts that we have on. We have the team name and mom squad. Um, this is a old shirt. So Cairo, I thought this Cairo number was 39, but that was his practice jersey. His his number is 23. So I um I have to order another shirt. <laughs> but yeah, this is the fit for the football game. I'll see you guys when I get back. His team won! 19 to 0. We won! We won! Whew. So, I need to hurry up and change my clothes. Well, I just want to change this little, this little jersey real quick. And then off to belt testing. <laughs> we just got home. I'm eating some yogurt. I think I'm going to change this video, the direction of this video, because one of Cairo football friends just asked us to go to, um, I think it's called Petler's Village. They wanted us to go to Petler's Village to see like the Halloween scarecrows and stuff. So there's no way I'm going to be able to decorate and all that today. Hold on. So. This will be this this will be continued on Wednesday vlog. We'll decorate for fall on Wednesday. Today would just be a spend the day with me in my hectic life. But yeah, as you guys can see, this is the aftermath of belt testing in football. Cheers. All right, here's my OOTD to Petler's Village. I just have on this dress. This dress is from Target. And these sandals are from Target. And yeah, this is what I have on. I just paired it with this little gold bag. So, see you guys when we get there. To like halfway across the uh, Epcot. Freddy Cooper. Freddy Cooper. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, Lori watches it. Oh, wow. Look at this one from BOG. Wow. Isn't that the, isn't that the, oh, like, yeah. the other BOG mm -hmm. person? He looks like he got a sneeze. Oh, this one looks like it's gonna jump scare. Oh, my goodness, this is too much. Oh. <laughs> Did you play track before? Oh wow, this looks really creepy. I'm about to. <laughs> 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 
Oh, what movie is this from, guys? It. So cool. Well, they're probably the most creative one. Yeah, she do look ugly. Her hand. <laughs> Oh, this street corn is so good oh my gosh if y'all come here get the street corn the mexican street corn it's right there at this little food place this is so cute this is from inside out this is anxiety yeah oh there goes squidward they have so many oh off of trolls it looks just like that i know you hear me it's so cute Joy, it looks just like Joy. 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 <laughs> Wednesday. Hey, Wednesday. It don't look like her, but I get what you're trying to do. <laughs> no, you don't. They do a good job. They do a real good job. Look at Taylor Swift, y'all. <laughs> Go, Taylor. <laughs> right here. My Hila has a leaf cookie. Let me see a leaf cookie. But you literally said that I was gonna take a picture. <laughs> and you Y'all, look how cool this is. It is <laughs> made out of boots. This little dog is made out of boots. This is so creative. I would have never thought of anything like this. So cool. Oh, look at her. I don't know who she's supposed to be, but... Okay. The kid's having so much fun. Cookie Monster is getting ate by the cookie. <laughs> He's getting eaten by the cookie. They have the Olympics, girl. <laughs> Good morning. It's the next day. I'm like in the process of finishing up editing my vlog. Um, I'm about to close out this vlog mainly because oh shoot, look at Penny. It's so dark in here. But I'm about to close out this vlog mainly because one, um, I need to take Cairo to get his pictures done. Oh, he had to take football pictures today. Hold on, let me turn some light on. Oh god. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. My bad, y'all. So anyway, I have to take Cairo to take his football pictures. And I wanted to go ahead and edit this video and be done with it. So that way, just in case something happens or I get busy, I'm not worrying about my my video uploading. So that's how I'm closing out the vlog. There's a couple things that I want to talk about. One, if you guys live in the Pennsylvania area, make sure you check out Petler's Village. We had an amazing time yesterday. So yesterday, um, a Cairo football friend, and uh, his parents asked my husband and I to join them to take their kids to Petler Village to see the Scarecrow Festival. It was super fun. 
her, um, my husband and her husband like hit it off. They were cool. And actually, yesterday we found out that her husband actually know my husband's best friend. They went to high school together. They grew up together. So it was like such a small world. And then me and her wife hit it off. She is so cool. She is super nice. Um, <clears throat> so that was fun. I am learning, even though that wasn't the plan yesterday, the plan was to come home and finish decorating because I wanted this video to be a decor video, a full decorating video. But I'm learning in life when it comes to things that's in the house, like cleaning, decorating, that stuff is going to always be here. And I never want to turn down an opportunity to do something with other people just for something for in the house. Like, for instance, I need to finish washing clothes and things like that. But I can do that throughout the week. It's not it's not that deep. So I definitely had fun. I suggest you guys go. It was so cute. Also, I want to talk about a couple things. So a lot of you had a lot to say about me breaking the planter. Y'all. And I mean this respectfully, but why do it bother you guys when somebody do something? I just don't, I don't, I, I just don't get it. Obviously, if I broke the planter, I did not want the planter. I never purchased that tree for the planter. I never liked the planter, honestly. That's why I have two of those trees and both times I switched the planters out. I only purchased it because I love the tree. I love the Studio McGee tree. I never cared for the planter. So the tree that's in my great room, I'm going to get ready to show you guys. The tree that's in my great room, it's the same tree. I just didn't have to break the planter because it actually fit inside of the planter. This one, I had to break the planter. I don't care about the planter. I'm not saving the planter. I am not one of those people who repurpose things, who save it. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I don't, I don't have the time. I don't have the patience. I'm not cutting the tree out. I'm not, I'm not doing all that. If you guys have watched me for a long time, you guys know I have little to no patience for DIY things. I am not a DIY girl. I'm a type of girl who will buy it because I need it. I, my time is very precious. I don't have a lot of time, so I don't spend a lot of time doing DIYs and fixing things and repurposing. I don't I don't have time for that. I just don't. If I really liked it, maybe, but I don't care about the planter. I don't care about I didn't care about the planter. I didn't care. So yes, I broke the planter. I did what I had to do to make me happy. That means putting the damn tree inside of the planter that I wanted. If you guys see the amount of people that had something to say, about this darn planter one lady was just being so rude i blocked her talking about you just love to waste money you love spending your husband money first of all i get up and i'm gonna say this for everybody i get up and i work every single day every single day i get up and work i don't have no penny any job i have a good job and i make good money i don't have to depend on my husband for anything i appreciate everything that my husband do but with or without my husband I can I can make a way for my kids and I. So get that out. All you guys that watch me and always assuming something because a lot of people have been just getting real slick lately. And I don't know if it's because it's a lot of new people been subscribing to my channel and they don't really know me or whatever. Everything me and my husband have, we sacrificed, we saved. Nothing was given to us. We're not rich. Everything we have, we work hard for and I'm a team player. I don't just spend all my husband money. No, I spend my money. Okay. So I just want to clear the air. I want to put that out there. And I'm tired of having to address things on this channel. And, and I keep saying this is my last time, but sometimes I feel like, no, things need to be said. Things need to be said because you're not going to come on my channel and then you can just say what you want to say. And that's it. You will get blocked. You will get blocked. And I'm not, I don't have time to deal with it. Like I don't. So I'm going to say this again. If you say something disrespectful, if I feel like you're being rude, I am not tolerating it because I caught myself. I actually went back with the lady. Like I said some stuff and I said, you know what, my, this is not your character. Do not let this miserable person that know you don't know you from a can of paint assume shit. Block her. I don't, I don't have the energy to deal with people like that. I don't. Here on my channel, I try to be positive. I try to be uplifting, motivating, inspiring. 
And there are so many people that just have so much to say. When you don't even know me, you're assuming. You watch 45 minutes of my videos and you assume you know my whole freaking life. You don't know nothing. You know what I show. And that's not a lot. I don't show a lot. It might seem like I do, but I don't. So I just wanted to put that out there. Also, far as the box go, I know I could have cut the tree box open, y'all. I know I could have, but I'm keeping the box. I want to keep the box, the box because I have a lot of decor downstairs in my basement that I want to actually put in that box and just store away because it's a nice, thick, big box. So I did not cut the box. That's why I didn't cut the box. I appreciate all of you who support my channel. Trust me. I appreciate you guys. But you guys have to understand, this is my real life. I don't, I know a lot of YouTubers sometimes like pre-plan their videos. Everything that I show you guys is 100% authentic and 100% my real life. I don't, I don't micromanage. I don't think, oh, should I do this? I try to just be authentic as possible. So that way the people who are going through a lot with having kids and a husband and working, you guys see the, a true person that is doing it and it inspire you guys. So I just wanted to put that out there. I'm going to close out this vlog because I have things that I need to do, but I just wanted to express myself on here because I feel like you guys are my family. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. But when new people come to my channel and just think they can say and do what they want, it has, I have to let them know. And that video, my last video of fall took off. So I have all these new subscribers. And I can tell the new people because it's like the way that y'all talking to me, uh-uh, uh-uh. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not one of those people that's going to be like, uh, mm -mm. But anyway, I thank you guys as always. I love you guys and I will see you on the next vlog. Bye.